Was finding Jeremy Lin like finding a needle in the haystack? Dennis Berman, editor of the Marketplace section here at the Wall Street Journal and failed point guard <laughs> for the New York Knicks. Or you would, you would have liked to have been a point guard for the New York sure, Knicks, wouldn't you? Sure, of course, of course. Yeah? I mean, in your dreams, you are a point guard, right? In, in reality in, and in my dreams. In but, reality But in as your it relates dreams. to Jeremy Lin, yeah. Evan, uh, it's such an interesting question. Like, why, why didn't anyone see this guy? And in part, why, his, why didn't they his, see him coming? The sensation that he represents is this is a, a demonstration of the fact that nearly all, each and every time in selecting talent in the sport of basketball, the people in the know get it right. Yeah. Well, so I mean, if we think of the greats, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, a lot of the great ball players of yesteryear were recognized very early. You know, obviously LeBron James. They, they, people knew that these guys were. Now, I'm so, not putting Jeremy Lin in the same nor category. Should you, no. Nor should I of LeBron James. But the reality is, th they were recognized early. They were cultivated, and yes. then they were raised onto a pedestal. And you could put Kobe Bryant in there. 17 right. years old, he's drafted right. in the NBA. Never but played not a day Jeremy in college. Lin. No. But but what's happening is in, in these ways to identify talent is that not every single player who's identified as a potential pro will become a pro. Right. right? The odds just don't stack up. But it's very odd that those who are not identified, right? It's very, it's very odd that the pros will come from someone who's not in that right, right. initially but, identified group. But he kind group. of was. I mean, so he's a star player for for Harvard, right? Yeah, but he's not a, exact, middling, a middling to quality high school player, average fifteen points a game. Yes, he's a he's a star player at Harvard. Maybe right. not a superstar, but a star player yep. nonetheless. He then is. Uh, is in the NBA Development League, and as well as drafted, I think, by Golden Houston, State. Gold, Golden, Golden Gold State, State, goes to Houston, and then Houston, gets dropped, and get dropped, moved on, moves on to the Knicks, gets right. says, we, we all sleeping know the story, on the couch. Yes. So what I think, you know, I, I tend to believe that the market is going to be pretty accurate about this stuff. You and, think the and, market's efficient, and for that reason, I suspect Jeremy Lin will regret. Jeremy Lin will regress greatly. And you're already writing the guy off. He to just, the mean. He barely gets into the spotlight. You're already writing him off. Well, I mean, everyone's paying so much attention to him. You have to try to provide some reason to the apparently analysis. They're, they're already like trademarking the, the phrase Lin Sanity. Oh, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're trying to sell rights to Chinese uh, television broadcasters right. and so on. But the facts are, most likely. Jeremy Lin will regress to the mean and be a decent, if unspectacular, point guard backup in the NBA, which is a, an incredible achievement unto itself. But I think uh, people are getting, uh, getting way, ahead, of, way themselves, ahead of themselves. But yes. you know, that's what the media does. That's that what, is what the media that's does. That's why we're talking yes. about it right but, now. But, but what I think is so fascinating about the Jeremy Lin story is what it says about how you do find or don't find the needle in the haystack. Can you, in a sense, beat the market? Well, Tom Brady, let's go to Tom Brady. Yes because he's an interesting example of probably the, the best quarterback in the NFL today, probably. Um, he was overlooked, I think, in, you know, the, I think he was picked in the fifth, sixth, or seventh round of the draft. yes. Yeah, so he was picked well in, late in the draft and turned into, you know, a great yep. quarterback. Yeah, and, and uh, so that's another example. And uh, by the way, I don't even think he started for Michigan for most of the time he was at Michigan no. as a college quarterback. Of course, you're a late bloomer too, Evan. Uh, I am You a, found am your a real bloomer. talent. That's true. Doing online video. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. Um, that was my lead. <laughs> but 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 the market usually does get it right. Yes. So can we just ascribe the Jeremy Lin? Look, there there I am. Can we ascribe the Jeremy <laughs> Lin situation to just luck? You know, to to the market to the a market occasionally just overlooking something yep. and missing it. Yep. I mean that. that but happens. I think what it means for us in our daily lives is that we have does to it make, have meaning in our well, daily lives? Well, we have to make life? allowances for luck in our lives. But for the most part. Their luck is 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 not going to show up in the right efficient. way. The They're markets are pretty efficient. They're not going to suddenly decide that Dennis Berman, although he was a good point guard for okay. your high school team, you were right. You played for your high school yeah, team. Yeah, was a player. You yeah. were a player, right? But your 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 game kind of didn't go anywhere. Well, I didn't have the talent. You didn't have the talent it. when it came down to uh, it. And the market had realized that very. The market early was on. pretty efficient. And so the market pretty brutal gonna, about yes. your basketball <laughs> career. Uh, but when it comes to the world of investing in stocks, which is presumably why people are watching the show and not about basketball, <laughs> uh, the market's pretty hard to beat, which is why that informs ah, your own philosophy. Yeah, I knew this was going to come the, back to me. Yes. Which is, and <laughs> well, by the way, you know, it's it. something yes. I, I kind of agree with, which is, you know, it is a, you know, for every Netflix that you don't buy early or an Apple that you don't buy early, you know, there, there are plenty of things that do get overlooked, but eventually the market kind of catches on, both to the upside when stocks get overhyped, a la Zipcar which today is being crushed, 
Um, you know, stocks get overhyped, but the market kind of finds its kind, kind of finds its proper level at the end of the day. It does, of course. Pretty it does. efficient stuff. And so, Jeremy Lin, I predict, uh, will be regression to the mean. Will be on the bench by the end of the season. Is that right? Yeah. Do you do you say that with with a heavy heart? I'd love to see. It's a great story. I'd love to see him do well, but 